Hello friends, welcome to topcoaching.com once again. So today we are here to discuss a topic called qualitative analysis of organic compounds. So friends, what do we mean by qualitative analysis? So the very first test is the test for carbon. When many students ask this question, that when we are at organic chemistry, why at all do we need to test for carbon? So friends, you know, when we are presented with, an, with a compound in the lab, the first thing uh, we might to, you know, want to prove that it is an organic compound. And hence the test for carbon. This test also includes the test for hydrogen. So the organic compound, the compound to be tested is mixed with dry copper oxide. Now, uh, you know, the oxygen of uh, copper oxide will oxidize the carbon present in the organic compound and that will result into a product that is carbon dioxide. If carbon was present and carbon dioxide was formed, it will go all the way here and turn the slime water milky which will indicate the presence of carbon dioxide. However, if carbon was not present and hydrogen was present in the compound, the hydrogen will get oxidized to water and uh, you know it will convert this in hydrous copper sulfate which is white in color you know it will uh, hydrate it to a blue color and this will indicate the presence of water in the compound so next is the test for nitrogen for example let us say we want to see whether the organic compound is an amine or not right so, uh, Lazzini's test is what we perform for the presence of nitrogen, sulfur and halogens. For this test, first of all, we prepare the basic, uh, you know, extract called sodium fusion extract. Now, what is this sodium fusion extract? We take the compound and some sodium in a test tube and put it over a burning flame with slow heat. You know, it's, uh, it's like... Uh, uh, you must have seen the welding process. So, on constant slow heating, the you know tube uh, gets red hot, and the the sodium uh, what you say the sodium metal and the, the compound which was to be tested fuses together, right? And hence it is called sodium fusion. Now we you know literally break this test tube into water and then filter out our compound. That is called sodium fusion extract. So let us say the compound has nitrogen in it. Now since it is an organic compound, it will have carbon too. So when its sodium fusion extract is formed, we get sodium cyanide. Right? Now this is the first step towards identifying the element in the organic compound. What will be the reaction in case of sulfur? Sulfur when reacts with sodium and heated, it gets, we get Na2S. In case of halogens, we get sodium halide. Right? 